you know, how does one distinguish between an outcome and a process, what you want and what you don't want? And, and, and Monish, you did promise you would not put me on the spot, but uh, I, I can see uh, you are good at putting me on the spot. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to respond to that. Uh, so what I'm going to ask you to do, Monish, is uh, do you have your phone with you? Do you have your mobile with you? Always. All right. So just point it out so that I can see it. Keep it in your hand. And I want you to be really strong, Monish. I don't want you to keep this down. Is that okay? Right. I don't want you to put it down on the table. I want you to be really strong. So hold on to it. The outcome I have in my mind or the goal I have in my mind is that I want you to keep that phone down. Is that okay? That's fine. Yeah. I'm clear on my outcome. And yes. I want to share it with you. And I'm asking you to be strong by not giving in. Is that all right? That's perfect. Can I? Can you please keep that phone down on the table? No. Ah, what happens when I don't get what I want? You can leave it now for a minute. No. What happens when I? What happens when I don't get what I want as an outcome or as a goal? Inherently, disappointment can come in. I can be disappointed. I even said to Monish, she's a friend of mine. I even said, please, can I ask you to keep the phone down? And I heard him say, no. You know how rude is that? Now, I did not get what I want, and I then inherently go into disappointment. That energy of disappointment is negative. You know that. It doesn't remain in Monish because that energy doesn't, you know, we don't keep it in. So how I use that energy becomes important now. I can either turn around and say, I always thought of him as a friend. I even said, please. And look at him online in front of people who I don't know. He so rudely said to me, no, I don't know where that is coming from. I can blame you. Or if I think he's with a group of 70 people and they all know each other and I'm the outsider here, then I don't blame you because all of you can go after me. Then I start to blame myself. Maybe I didn't do it the right way. Maybe I'm not good enough as a friend. Maybe I'm weak. Maybe I don't have the skill to get what I want. And I can go on and off. When I do that, do I get you to put that phone down? No, I certainly don't get what I want. So you can keep it down, Monish. It's absolutely fine. The game is over. So all I'm saying is when you ask me about the outcome, when you ask me about our goal, what is it that I do with that energy inside of me? What do I do with that energy? Because disappointment is an energy. What do I do with it? Do I blame or do I actually go after what it is that I want? That can I take my focus back to, oh, so what I want is for Monish to keep that phone down on the table and I need to go after that. Can I be flexible? Right. Can I right. be flexible there? Can I can I actually use my resources and through you know be flexible, be creative, and actually get what it is that I want? So in that sense, it's linked. An outcome and a goal is the same thing. Right. And I think. Uh, uh...